Hit hard by the heat, people who work outdoors are feeling the brunt of this historic heat wave. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rochelle Murcia. And I'm Michael Patterson. Buena Vista Golf Course in Taft is the South Valley's only option for 18 holes of golf outside of Bakersfield. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein hit the links to see how the course and its employees will survive the heat wave. A fire at Buena Vista Golf Course in Taft is setting back the course owner, Chad Sorensen. It's also going to set back his employees who have to work through this summer heat. All this stuff that burned, that's that stuff that you own. All this stuff we own, this we own every dime of this stuff, unfortunately. Chad Sorensen is technically not the owner of the golf course. That's the county, but the veteran golf pro pays out of pocket for just about everything else. Equipment, the employees, the insurance, everything. Yeah. All the inventory, yeah, all the stuff. It's all on you. Every bit, yeah. Much of his equipment fleet was destroyed in a fire a couple weeks ago. Now the heat wave is putting Sorensen under the clock. What exactly did you lose? I lost uh, three big rough units, a fairway unit, uh, three utility, uh, four utility vehicles, two pull behind rough units. It could net a loss of more than 10 pieces of valuable equipment. So what is the cost to replace? If I was to buy all this stuff new again, it'd be, it'd be well north of half million, 600,000. Chad is getting some help from the superintendent and his brother who operates North Current Golf Course near Shafter. Sorensen would not mind buying more hand-me-downs from other courses. The problem? He says there's nothing to hand down. Can't find any of this stuff in California, and if you can, it's 10 years old at $50,000 a mower. And that's coming from his pocket, not the county's. Also coming from his pocket is the money he uses to pay his employees who now have to battle it out in the sun with equipment that is subpar. Does their day now look differently because of the fire? A lot of tears. Um, a lot, lot more sweat. Sorensen's still proud of his team and especially his superintendent because he recognizes the struggles they now have to deal with. And of course, that includes the blistering heat. My poor employees are pulling their hair out, especially my superintendent. He's dying right now. He's coming out extra time. My guys don't like it, but we get here at 4.30 in the morning, so it's still in the 70s. Working in the 110 degree heat is no fun, but there's one thing Sorensen's team can do that other workers cannot. We can flick on a sprinkler and, and cool off pretty fast. Unlike a lot of people, if you're in the oil field, you don't have that luxury. If you want to help out Sorensen and his employees, come play some rounds here at Buena Vista. It'll help get him, his employees, and maybe yourself out of the rough. Reporting in Taft, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.